If you have high interest credit card debt or a high interest rate auto loan, this video is for you. Today, consumer debt is at a record high at about 950 billion. That's insane. This chart shows how during the lockdowns, consumer debt dropped tremendously. It bottomed out in March of 2021 and since has been going up at such an alarming rate. I mean, just look at that climb. And to make things worse, the Federal Reserve raised the Fed funds rate another 0.25%, which directly affects revolving debt. And this can be a ticking time bomb for many, especially if your job is at risk as we enter a recession. So because of it, I decided to create this video and share one of my recent success stories where one of my past clients got into a little credit card cash flow predicament. In the end, we ended up saving them about $1,700 a month by consolidating their debt. We got them out of that pickle and now they're, I mean, they're doing great. Even their health improved since the stress went away. And let me tell you, they were stressed. So let me show you how we did it. So here on the first column on the left was their scenario before we consolidated their loan. So they were at a $650,000 loan amount and their interest rate was an amazing 2.875. Yes, I get it. The rate was low, but hear me out. Their total payment, including taxes and insurance was $3,341. And uh, they, this is where it gets very interesting. So listen up. They had a total of $91,789 in consumer debt, car payment, and other stuff. The total monthly payment was $3,516. So if we add what the mortgage uh, payment was, the $3,341 right here, and the uh, 3516 of consumer debt, uh, the interest rate was really high on the debt. And let me show you what that consisted of. So here on the left, we have all the creditors had a Ford uh, auto loan at 12%, which was not too bad. Then we had a Capital One at 22.99, and the balance on that was 23,000. Uh, that one, that was a pretty big hit. This upstart network, 39% on $8,535. Their payment was $462. That's huge. Uh, JCPenney and SoFi, look at that, 31%. They're paying $1,000 on a $20,000. Uh, loan. So what we did is we pulled out $100,000. So now the new loan amount is $750,000. Yes, the rate is a lot higher. Now we're looking at 6.5% interest rate. And their total or their new housing payment is now $5,385. And that is significant. That's a $2,000 difference. However, the biggest difference or change here is that we eliminated that uh, $3,500 as illustrated here. So the total out of pocket was just the mortgage payment, which is the $5,385. So that's a savings of $1,400 per month that was no longer weighing on them. So then the way we structured this is um, give it six, 12 months as the rates drop, we'll, we'll catch another, let's just say a 4%, because I don't think we're gonna see that 2.875 again. I mean, God, you never know. So that drops their payment down to $4,200. So that would be a total savings of 2,632 once we refinance this in the future. But that's if it happens, but if it doesn't, I mean, they're still saving this 1,400, uh, for almost $1,500 per month. And they are no longer paying, just paying the minimum on their, on their credit card debt. So I know what you're thinking. Yes, now it's spread over 30 years. Well, yeah, in some cases it's not worth it. So it all depended on your individual situation. And I know it seems like holding on to that low interest rate is the best option. Really, it comes down to if you don't have any debt and you're fine, then I don't recommend that you do anything and you stay put with that amazing 2.875, 2.5% interest rate. But if your credit card debt is up and your car payments are becoming too much, or I mean, even if you want to pull some money out to uh, build an income generating ADU in the back, uh, or even invest in another property, then a cash out refinance may be a great option. So call me or text me directly at my same number, 408-705-6492, to run the numbers and see if it makes sense for you to consolidate your debt into your mortgage. All right, talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye.